Now then everyone, it's been a while since I've uh, done a video, so a bit out of practice, but um, back on it now. Just a quick update as to uh, what's going on, and then we're going to get into an unboxing of a Chinese exhaust valve. So, quick update then. Um, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a video on the V6. Um, we've not really touched that since the last video was uh, doing an explanation of what we've done so far and a bit of the video before that was a bit running since then it's not done anything so the problems were the fan wasn't working uh, for the radiator uh, and the idle control valve wasn't working so they need fixing also I've lost the exhausts the way they were pinched so it's stupid loud so we need to make it quiet so that I don't upset the neighbours so that I we can tune it properly and try and dial it in so it idles nice and it revs nice obviously we can't put it under load but anyway so big update there is we're going to put a turbo on it that is a CT26 turbo for a 3S GTE which is under the bench so turboing it for the sake of it just a bit of fun doing it on the cheap it's going to be really basic a few bodges but do some videos, hopefully do some good videos. So we're doing that. Um, we are also, this exhaust valve is going on to uh, diesel insignia. Um, so I have a sound really good or a bit naff, a bit of a waste of time. But we're going to do that, so do a video on that. And then I might even, probably not what you've come to this video for, but I might do some RC stuff. We shall see. So anyway, right, enough uh, going on about that. Um, let's crack on with the unboxing for this Chinese exhaust valve. Right then, hopefully you can see the box. I'm not too fussed if you can see me or not. And hope that the lights are okay. So, I've done one of these before. Oh, I've done unboxing, let's give it a go. I've not looked in the box. So. Right, I'll put a link in the description of what, what it is and where I bought it from, 55 quid. Now this is what looks like to me an exact copy of a an American brand called Quick Time Performance, QTP, uh, which is what I've got on the MX-5, which I bought like six years ago, which has been really good. Uh, and I think basically it's just been copied and I can tell straight away that it's a lot lighter than the American one that I've got on there, straight away it's lighter. Um, it seems alright, uh, the motor and the gears are... Feels relatively sturdy. Doesn't open as far as the uh, QTP. As you can see there you've only got, you've got an angle to it. Well that's a better view. That shouldn't really make a difference. Um, but, uh, okay. So far, so good. No real complaints. You can see there, like typical quality control, it's all chewed up. Uh, so really, only fell that down while the gasket will get a little bit damaged. But, uh, price-wise, 55 quid for this, and it comes with all the adapters, whereas the five years ago, the American one was... Um, about 130 and it was just this so price difference is there get the bags out of the way so we have the down pipe the down at the tip which I may use I might make my own it actually looks pretty nice so I'll try and just reuse that save on uh, fabricating stuff uh, let me get a knife So it comes with this nice adapter, which would be wonderful if you had a 3 inch stainless steel exhaust. Um, you can then, well, I'm sure you can figure it all out. 
it all bolts together basically. You'd have to either weld that in or clamp it in. That goes to there. You would have that on the back side of there. And then your V-band on there. Okay, so get the idea approximately. With, when I fit this onto my car, I'm going to cut this off. I want this bit, I don't want any of that. And I'm going to have to bodge stainless steel to mild steel, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, that's in another video. So, so far so good. The welds look really pretty, but that doesn't mean they're good or strong, but they do look, um, they do look nice and neat. That's all I can say, I'm not a welder. Some really basic gaskets. So these are annoying because they don't compress. They're really stiff. So I always put a bit of uh, exhaust paste on them to try and get them to seal better. And then we have the electronics. Now on the um, the old American one five years ago, that had a switch. Uh, this one, if you can see it, which I'm worried you can't see the video. The angle's a bit shit. This is a wireless remote control version. And that feels really cheap. That feels really cheap. This is one from the garage door. Um, it's all plastic, but that just feels better. So that's a bit cheap and tacky, but as long as it works. And it should... I can call that. So, the idea is that you plug it into the circuit lighter. Uh, plug the other end into the motor, you've got an extension lead, and away you go. I'm going to work, uh, solder this into the back of the car. Uh, I've got to be careful because new cars now are CAN bus, which I don't want to upset the electronics by bodging in some wires, so I have to be careful with that. We have some instructions which are surprisingly in English and printed in colour on decent paper. Uh, I'm not going to bother reading all those. No doubt there'll be some good translated English in there. But that is it. So what you see in the pictures on the advert is what you get. Um, for the sake of the video I will bolt it all together really quickly so we'll fast forward this bit. Okay, we're back. So, I've got to stop saying so. That's the, the finished product. And it's glory. Some problems straight away. These bolts are looking to be too long. If I tighten it all the way up, it would foul on the V-band, so then you cut him down. Uh, the gaskets are not in yet, but I don't think they're going to take up enough space. But we shall see. Keep an eye on that. Uh, I will just uh, relook at the camera, get it plugged in in the MX-5 and make sure the motor works. So I'll show you that. Uh, and then that's the end of the video. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and you'll see me fitting this to a Vauxhall Insignia diesel. Uh, see how it sounds. Thank you. And here it is working properly. Well, so far, so good. So you got to watch out for these, just for those who have never come across these before. It's not um, an intelligent motor, so what that means is that you've got to hold the button for it to open and close. If you hold the button for too long, you'll actually burn out the motor. So you've got to press and hold it, and then the motor sort of can't turn anymore, so it stops, and then you let go of the button. So once it's on the car, you've got to remember to press and hold, wait, and then you've got to remember to let go of the button. I'm guessing there's, there might be experience ones out there where you press the button and it just opens on its own, but that's not the case. But so far so good. What I might do is, all these screws, I might just lock tight them all, whichever ones I can. Um, and then once it's on the car, I don't have to worry about it coming all loose. 
but uh, so far so good, right? Catch you later.